Hello everybody, this is Robert from Hot Biotech Stocks and today I have picked another great biotech company which is Avadel Pharmaceutics. Avadel is actually one of my favorite biotech stocks this week because it has great products and nice chart setup and 2018 could be a great year for Avadel stock. So if you want to hear more, please keep watching. So let me bring the company website and I can explain why I think it's a great company. This is a company's website. And one of the reasons I like this company it is because it has like three or four approved products. These are the three or four marketed products, so they are making money. These are uh, for mostly pediatric and hospital setting products. And the main reason I like Amadel is because it's this product, Noctivia. They just uh, in license this product and uh, it is for nocturium, which is uh, excessive urination during night. And this is the only approved product by FDA for this use. So it has a huge market potential. Uh, company thinks the peak sales in a few years could be around $750 million, which is a huge potential. Another reason I like Abadel is that they have another product in a pipeline that is uh, undergoing phase three clinical studies. And that product is FT218, and that's for narcolepsy. Narcolepsy is when it's your excessive tiredness during the day and you fall asleep. The, there's only one more product on the market for that, for that use, which makes $1.5 billion per year. So if uh, Abada can get 25% of the market share of the narcolepsy product uh, together with Noctoria, could be like they could have a $1 billion sale in a few years. So that makes the, uh, this company very attractive to me. And uh, in order to explain more, I'm going to bring the chart and uh, explain more what I think this company is really nice time to get in. So that makes this bigger. Okay. So I'm going to do a six month chart. And uh, so what happened is that in, uh, uh, let me see if I can move, sorry. In almost end of December here, the company made a presentation and they tell the street what they plan to do for 2018, which is finalizing the clinical study for FT218 and also launching Noctiva. And look, I mean, the market really liked what the company said, uh, said. So stock went from $8 all the way to almost $12, which is 50% rise. But uh, then the market started to wonder, like, okay, maybe they need money to launch Noctiva, so the stock pushed back. And uh, the reason this stock um, caught my eye was when in here, in the middle of February, they issued convertible loan because they needed money to launch the product. And so the stock crashed after this announcement, which gives us an excellent opportunity to take it in. So now the company has the money, has the product, is making money and it's like if they can just execute it well, I mean, this uh, stock has a room to run enormously. And uh, I even can go so far to say that the stock has the uh, opportunity to ten double. And if you think I'm crazy, if you go to my blog, I've explained why I think this stock can ten double in a few years. If you go to hotbiotechstocks.com, uh, if you go to stock analysis articles, and here I have an article about why I think Abadel has a potential to 10 double. And you can read, I can, I'm not going to go through this now. But you, can go for, you can go through it and uh, uh, ex I've explained my rationale why it's going to 10 double. And the, basically the reason is that the, the market cap currently is around $300 million. If uh, Noctiva can make $750 million per year and FT218 can do $250 million per year, total of 1 billion, that makes the market capitalization of at least 3 to 5 billion, which is actually 10 times higher than the current market capitalization, which is around 330 million. So let me go back to the chart again. If I can see it, I can find it. Sorry about that. Okay, there you go. So I think uh, right now, let me explain why I think it's a good time to get in. So this is a six month chart, little one month chart. So the stock, this is the announcement where the, uh, the stock crashed and it went up again and it built a resistance around eight of $8 and it broke the resistance. Has come down now, is building a support around the previous resistance, which is exactly what we, what we want to see. See if I go to the 14 day 
uh, chart and then make five minutes, you can see our stock was struggling to go past, go past eight, it broke the eight, has come back and it's again building a support around eight. So if the support holds in the coming few days, I think it's an excellent time to get in. You can have a half a position now, wait a couple of days and uh, add another half a position and um, going back to daily chart again. I mean, this stock, if it holds the eight, it can easily go up to $10, which is like 25% increase. And uh, if the, uh, uh, again, if they, they have uh, this uh, study readout for F2218 in the uh, second quarter of 2018 or around the summertime, I think it can go up to the 12 in anticipation for the study re readout. If it hits 12, I would get out of the stock, wait for the study results. And uh, if it's, for example, I mean, let me do a one year chart. If let's say if we go to 12, everybody's waiting for the so the readout, and if the readout is positive, it might pop up to 14, 15, but it's gonna come back again, then you can jump in with conviction. If the, so the results are positive, um, they, they have this marketed product, then you can go in with conviction. But if it is 12 and the study results are negative, it can crash to $10, then you can get in again, you know? Because again, the, the, the study failure is not detrimental to the company, because they do have this great product that they are launching in 2018. So again, if it goes up here, sell, wait for the study results. If it's positive, get in. If it's negative, wait until it comes down and settles, then you can get in. You're risking the bump after the study readout, but uh, again, capital preservation is very important. You, I'd rather keep the money I made from here to $8 all the way to $12 and, um, if, and wait for the study results. And again, if it comes down, that gives us another good, good opportunity to get in. Again, uh, hopefully uh, you find value in this uh, video. Uh, if I miss something, let me know. If you want me to look at some other stock you have, shoot me an email or leave a comment. Uh, if you can subscribe, that would help me because I'm going to do a couple of videos like this per week. and You can get um, stock ideas about biotech stocks that have room to run 10 to 30%, which are pitfall free. I'm going to explain the risks and how to trade. So hope you enjoyed it. Um, again, thanks for watching and uh, happy trading. Bye-bye.